It's no secret that One Piece fans are indeed quite something, and when combined with how big of a troll Oda is, and the way he writes his story, that it's pretty much expected that many memes and situations will emerge throughout the years. In today's video, we'll present the 25 most popular moments that became viral memes in the One Piece anime. Let's start with a rivalry between two characters that made the One Piece fandom split into two camps, one dissing on one character while the other disses on the other. You see, Mihawk and Shanks fans are indeed not of the best terms. The main reason for that was because each of them supports that their choice is the strongest among the two. One says that Mihawk is the strongest swordsman, and since Shanks uses a sword as well, this makes him stronger than Shanks. While Shanks fans state that his sword is just a secondary weapon, and that with his hockey, Shanks can defeat Mihawk. By the way, you can tell us in the comments down below who you think is stronger, Mihawk or Shanks. But when it comes to the memes coming out of this situation, well, apparently Mihawk is not a great swordsman, but rather huh? a fraud. How did he turn his blade black then? Something that, by the way, only another member in history ever managed to achieve, aka Ryuma. Well, he just paints his sword to make them look black, and hence the meme of the fraud Mihawk painting his black blade. How do Mihawk fans respond to this? Well, they call Shanks a rat for speaking with the world government. They call him a traitor and an embarrassment. They even give him a nickname, Red-Haired Snitch. I'm not even joking. I can't imagine how many of these edits I see every time Shanks and Mihawk fans decide to have a go at each other. As you may have figured out by now, not even the strongest characters in the verse are safe. I mean, this meme revolving around Whitebeard is something else. And to be honest, he kind of deserved it. All right, stay with me for a second. We've got Whitebeard, one of the strongest men in the world, feared by thousands, if not millions. He's one of the four Yonkos and one of the very few people who could fight prime Goldie Roger on equal ground. You would think this guy's pretty wise, right? Wrong. This guy casually calls himself Whitebeard. He shaves his beard and only leaves a mustache, refuses to elaborate, and freaking dies. Okay, at least what is epic about Whitebeard that no one can deny is how badass his death was. Standing without a single wound on his back from running away in a battle, proud and fearless. And it's not just Whitebeard, to be honest. Almost every single One Piece character died in an insanely epic way. Almost everyone, you see. While we have characters changing the very world with the impact their badass deaths had, well, then we have Queena. That if we had to summarize her death, it would go something like this. Everyone having epic deaths, down these stairs to Queena. <laughs> But speaking of deaths, well, one specific death probably became the biggest meme in the whole One Piece anime. Or should I better say, the tastiest meme. <laughs> okay, all right, I'm not gonna bury this character any longer. He already has a lot to get off his chest. Good thing Akainu helped him with that, I suppose. You see, the memes I saw and keep seeing to this day, even 13 whole years after his death, are insane. With the most common being, yep, you guessed it, the donut one. But speaking of snacks, or, you know, food in general, what better time to speak about the ultimate food. You see, Chopper was originally dubbed as emergency food by both Sanji and Luffy. Yeah, I know. They didn't mean it, right? Oh. Okay, never mind. Maybe they did mean that. But this was only at the start, right? Surely after that, Luffy never tried to eat Chopper, right? Okay, I take it back. Chopper's life might be in more danger next to Luffy. But speaking of characters putting their life at risk just by being next to Luffy, well, Zoro's a prime example of that. What do I mean by this? Well, in most cases, when we see Luffy about to do something stupid, well, we are just ready to laugh, right? But not Zoro. Why? Oh. Well, because things go something like this. Luffy's about to do something stupid. Zoro realizes that somehow he's about to get brutally punched in the face or hit with enough force to put him in a wheelchair for the rest of his life out of nowhere. Zoro realizing there's nothing he can do. Zoro painfully accepting his fate and wishing that this stupid thing Luffy does doesn't cost him his life. At this point, Zoro took more punches than any opponent Luffy ever faced. Zoro must be sick of all these times Luffy hits him, right? But not as sick as Usopp. As we all know, Usopp has the I haven't yet subscribed to Akagami Aniki disease. Hey, huh? that's not what his disease is. Okay, okay, you got me. But still, hit that subscribe button for the best One Piece content you can fight. You see, the real meme is Usopp's I can't enter that island disease. Which, truth be told, this might not just be a silly meme after all. As in the end, this might actually prophesize that Raftel is in the end rejecting Devil Fruit users and thus making them sick when approaching. Yeah, the Straw Hat members do indeed have many moments that became memes, but the character with the most referenced cases online, other than Luffy, of course, is probably Brook. You see, Brook has three different gags in his character. The first one is the 45 degrees meme. Even though most of the One Piece fans just go with the flow and just kind of accept the meme for what it is without really knowing what, how, or why this meme came to be, I would
was kind of curious about it. So after digging in a bit more, apparently this meme is a reference to Michael Jackson. Not the biggest or the funniest, but still, the 45 degrees joke being less than 90 degrees makes it a cute joke. <laughs> if you know basic trigonometry, then I guess that joke's for you. The second meme that has to do with Brooke is none other than the constant already dead Brooke memes. It goes something like this. Smoking kills, but I'm already dead. <laughs> The food is so delicious, my face skin is going to fall, even though I have no skin. <laughs> it's getting so cold, I can feel it on my skin, even though I have no skin. <laughs> I can't believe my eyes, even though I have no eyes. <laughs> I mean, even the world government is probably trolling at this point. I mean, they even issued a wanted poster for Brooke saying, quote, dead or alive. I mean, is that supposed to be a trick question? Or are they asking us if Brooke is actually dead or alive? Because honestly, I don't even know myself what the answer to that is. And for the third meme on Brooke, we have his constant habit to ask whichever girl he finds for panties. And I mean, he even does it in a very gentleman-like style as well. My guy Brooke did not even hesitate to make this questionable request to even Big Mom of all people. I'm not gonna analyze that any further. I'll leave the comments on you for that. Yep, it's true that Brooke can get pretty down bad sometimes, but believe me, this doesn't even come close to how down bad some One Piece fans can get. Do you remember the move Nico Robin uses, Gigantesco Mano? Well, in that move, Robin grows two huge legs and steps on her opponents. Now, what did some One Piece fans decide to make of that? Well, they kept writing, quote, I wish I was in the place of those people that Robin stepped on. Yeah, I know. Not even Sanji would fall that low. But here we are. Truth be told, Oda knows his audience very well. It's not random that Nami underwent all this huge, <coughs> let's call it character development throughout the years. But a meme even worse than that arose during Wano. I mean, remember the good old times when Nami used to put some clothes on? Yeah, apparently we're past even that point now because her outfits during Wano and Egghead Island are, well, something. But is Nami the best waifu in One Piece? Not exactly. Because according to this next meme, the best waifu in One Piece is apparently Zoro. But did you ever wonder how this meme came to be in the first place? Well, hear this. Zoro's pretty bulky. The guy doesn't skip his gym sessions, and it shows. And well, apparently, Zoro trained a bit more his chest to a point that it became larger than even both Robin's and Nami's. And yeah, the One Piece fandom decides that because of that now, Zoro is apparently the best waifu in One Piece. <laughs> Makes perfect sense. Sense, right? But since we started with Zoro, well, he is indeed a fan favorite when it comes to memes. His most popular meme is the one where he constantly gets lost. Fans went all the way to have Zoro appear in all kinds of anime, including having Zoro being a mindless titan being thrown to the battlefield, having Zoro learning Bankai from Bleach, having him train his Sharingan with Itachi in the Naruto world, which apparently that's what's beneath his left eye. Zoro is, after all, Deku's father in the My Hero Academia world. Well, yeah, you get the point now. Zoro's part of every anime universe in existence. That that meme, in combination with the next one on our list, apparently made Zoro being best friends with Frieza and Tobirama. Why? Well, because as it turns out, all three of those characters share a very controversial common trade with their respective universes. They're all racists. You see, the vast majority of Zoro's opponents share a very suspicious trait, where, if you know what I mean, you know. And come on, don't tell me that the fact Zoro managed to overpower King only after his mask was torn and thus revealing his face was random. Only after witnessing that, Zoro had all the stats getting a major upgrade for the battle ahead. And only then was he able to defeat King. Okay, we avoided this long enough, so let's just speak about Luffy now. One of the longest going gags in One Piece has to do with the fact that Luffy asks anyone to join his crew. And I mean anyone. The list includes Zoro, Gaimon, Crocus, Nami, Jinbei, Kureha, Sanji, George Clooney, I mean Iceberg, Kinemon's Legs, Sabo, Usopp, Soga King, Frankie, Brook, Chopper, Zeph, Hutaros, Wanze, Apis, Vivi, Karu, Ace, Zombie Unicorn, Zombie Tree, and Usi just to name a few. Yeah, it's fair to say Luffy's not the brightest. Oh yeah, let's just say this too. Luffy's quite stupid, and he surely became a meme for many of his silly moments. Out of mermaid's poop. Zombie apocalypse? No problem. Luffy has the solution. Is he about to be executed? Well, he just asks who will be killed as if nothing happens. Finds a random fish in the ship. Almost dies from eating it without even cooking it first. Calling people by their real name? Who needs that? Here's a nickname for you. A nickname for you too. A nickname for everyone. Even this poor animal that has no name apparently became Chopper's cousin when Luffy saw him. Once again, Luffy is not the smartest. But do you remember this moment? You see, Luffy forgot who Marco is. The only one who knew Luffy good enough was Robin, who knew that as soon as he described him in that way, Luffy would understand. You see, Pineapple Marco is another known meme within the One Piece fandom. I mean, we even have this one moment with him eating a pineapple. So yeah, this was definitely not random, as Toei practically turned Marco into a cannibal at that point. From the secret captain of the Straw Hats to the actual captain of the crew, only elite One Piece fans know. Usa. You see, a going gag in the 
fandom has to do with the strength of Usopp, with the fans going all the way to even calling him God Usopp. Usopp solos the verse, making edits and fan arts with Usopp defeating Kaido. The only real opponent of Usopp? Buggy D. Cloud, the two strongest characters in the verse that can solo any crew on their own. Which brings us to our next point. Who the heck is Soga King? Some people observe his nose and theorize that it's Blackbeard. Others see the hair and say that it's obviously either Brook or Kizaru. However, we all know none of that makes sense. The man behind the mask is obviously Enel. But speaking of Enel, did you know that a very famous meme that goes even beyond One Piece and even the anime community for that matter actually originates from One Piece? You see this surprised SpongeBob face that is a worldwide meme used in all kinds of situations and jokes? Yeah, that's basically Enel's face edited into SpongeBob's body. Not gonna lie, I didn't realize it until a few months ago when someone randomly mentioned it to me. Please tell me I'm not the only one. Did you realize this yourself or did you find out about this now from me? Next, we have the four kids censorship of One Piece where many moments were quite hilarious. But probably the most known meme emerging from that is Sanji that instead of smoking cigarettes in the four kids version, he uses lollipops. So in essence, instead of lung cancer, in the four kids version of One Piece, Sanji gets diabetes. Okay, a meme now that has to do with someone other than pirates for a change is Kizaru. Not gonna say much about it, but the essence is pretty much as following. Kizaru seems, well, like he's not mentally present, but rather flies in higher dimensions with his expression. Fans went on to claim that Kizaru definitely smokes something with his face. And to be honest, I'm not completely sure if he does so or not. Next, let's just talk about how everyone utterly disrespects and disses on our poor pet Chopper. From calling him emergency food to calling him a tanuki, even the world government giving him ridiculously low bounties even after defeating Cypher Pole agents. Yeah, Chopper is without a doubt made the most fun of without actually deserving any of this. Check out this video where we analyze 36 One Piece mysteries that keep me up at night. Go on, check it out.